Yo, what is up, Latin Pride crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. You guys have been absolutely killing it with the, well, you killed it with the keychain orders, by the way. Almost sold out of all 80 of the keychains. Um, there's a couple left. And then when it comes to the other channel, the second channel, it's at almost 3,000 subscribers already. So super, super cool. In like 48 hours, 3,000 subscribers, that's pretty good. So anyways, we've got some parts here. I'm not gonna show you yet. That's gonna be for another video. Or if you guys wanna see the sneak peek video, you might want to go subscribe to the other channel because they're probably going to get to see it first. You know, just teasing you a little bit there. Got the AFC housing thing dealt with on this truck. I didn't want to really record until I knew I had it all, you know, figured out. So I got that all done and switched out. So what we're going to do now is start the thing up. Let her run a little bit and then we're going to try to go and take her for a little bit of a joy ride because this truck, I don't know how many of you guys know, most of you guys should know, it was 100% stock. When I say that, I'm talking AFC housing, never been touched. No, I mean, just nothing has been touched on this truck other than obviously, you know, fixing it up. But in terms of engine components and upgrades and even fuel, little fuel adjustments here and, here and there, uh, nothing was ever adjusted on this truck. So it was pretty much stock as can be slow. The throttle response was so slow. I mean, it was just not very fun to drive other than the fact that it's a nice truck and it gets looks because it's clean. Other than that, it just wasn't like a, just not a fast truck and a little AFC housing adjustments not gonna make it a fast truck, but it's gonna definitely help with some get up and go a little bit. I gotta tell you, it already feels a little bit different at throttle response. Nothing crazy right at first, but I can definitely tell you that compared to how the throttle response was before, um, it's a little more sensitive. So I don't know what I made of done or bumped or touched or what, um, or if just the AFC adjustments could have done that, but. Get a little more pep in her step. Get on the road here, see how much difference we feel. Now, when I adjusted the AFC housing and stuff, I did not adjust it so that this truck barreled smoke out like the dually because I remembered what I did to the dually and it was just a little bit excessive. So I made sure I didn't do anything like that. Quite I got to this truck. I did do the zero fuel plate. I did about five or six clicks up on the star wheel, cranking up towards the engine itself. Um, and that was about it. I didn't mess with the smoke screw because I hear a lot of guys say that when you mess with that, it doesn't necessarily increase the power too much. It really just messes up with the fuel mileage. Whenever I'm looking to see how I tune my AFC housing, the way that I figure it is by trying to get the truck into overdrive. And then once I do that, how much coal it either rolls or it doesn't. If it doesn't do a ton, that means that it, it was pretty good. But if there's a little bit, it's not a bad thing. It just means that you did increase the fuel, but you didn't excessively increase to where it's just, it's just wasting fuel like crazy. You just get a whole trail of smoke that's a little bit, you know, a little bit crazy. So. Um, yeah, right here we're gonna do a little test here and uh, bog the way down. So we're gonna do a little. She puffed some smoke, but just uh, just the amount that I was hoping—a little bit, where you knew it was getting more fuel, but not so much to where it's like crazy. We're gonna look behind and see if we can see a little smoke trail. That's the right amount. Just a little bit to where if you really hammer down on it, it would, it'll smoke a little, but not to where like with the dually, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, the dually, maybe you're newer. My dually, I have a 12 out five speed dually. And not only is it a manual, so it makes it a little bit easier to, you know, puff smoke when you want to puff smoke. But that thing, if you, I mean, if you barely tap the throttle, just like a little rev rev, it just clouds, man. It's just clouds of smoke like crazy. So I didn't want to do that with this truck because it's uh, it's just, it is a little excessive. But um, I did want to increase the fuel to where it was noticeably different. So I, 
I can honestly say I'm happy to see that this thing doesn't dump full like crazy because I wasn't wanting to have to retake it apart and adjust it again. It moves at 70 miles an hour right there. I'm always impressed at how just some AFC housing adjustments and fuel adjustments that are already on the truck, with not having to spend any money, you can get a decent amount of performance out of it. Truck. We just got another package in. I believe I know what those are. So I'm gonna leave that up for guests. That's gonna be an install here within a handful of days, I would imagine. But uh we get to draw on a number for this here light bar. These are all numbers, so I don't know whose name is whose. I just had my sister um, packing all the keychains and writing down the orders as she went, the order numbers, and then if they had you know, however many keychains you bought, your name, your order number got written down more times. So I don't know who, technically I can just look at these and be like, oh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, but I really, I don't know any of these. I don't know any of the names to any of the numbers. We're just gonna, we're just gonna grab one and whoever we pick up here is the winner. Let's just go with this one. Let's see, who do we have? 1372. Order 1,372. And by the way, people think I'm like done filming for this channel because I have a second channel. That's not at all what that's for. That channel is just kind of for like bonus content, random content, whatever I feel like, whatever's on my chest or on my mind. I just post it on there. Let's go to orders. I have my all my account stuff on here so I can just go to orders and punch in the number. 1,372. Winner for the light bar. I don't want to say your name wrong, but I think it's pronounced Zach Willingham. Willingham? Um, yeah. Out of Traverse City, Michigan. 1372. That's our guy. So I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Sweet. Now, if you did not win, which of course there's going to be a lot of people that didn't win, I still highly, highly appreciate you guys placing the orders. Really, really means a lot. We do have some stuff coming in soon so we can get back onto some build stuff. Like I said, we've got some boxes here of a couple parts. we got some big stinky parts, dually parts, nasty red parts. We actually got parts there for um, all three of the second gen 12 valves, so that's kind of cool. Guys, that is probably gonna put a wrap on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Smash that thumbs up. Join the family, subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to go and subscribe to the new channel, Team LMP, hashtag. Team LNP, put it in the search bar, link in description or link down in the comment section. Definitely go subscribe to that channel, closing in on 3,000, probably gonna pass 3,000 today in less than three days. So super, super cool. Thank you guys so much, you guys are killer. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.